Witnesses of past eclipses across the globe have described the event as awe-inspiring and life-changing. It's an event that happens perhaps once every several hundred years in any one location. And for our area, the next solar eclipse won't be for nearly 100 more years. The shadow created by the moon onto the Earth's surface is roughly only about 70 miles wide. Being within this 70 mile path, also known as totality, makes a profound difference in your experience. While the sky maybe doesn't turn as dark as midnight, the sun is completely blocked. It's been described as a hole punched in the daytime sky with sunlight encircling the moon. Very cool sight for us to see there. And what we're talking about for this eclipse is taking us further than what we saw just a couple of years ago with the big 2017 eclipse. Do you remember that one? The longest time that we got were under totality from Oregon all the way to South Carolina was two minutes and 30 seconds. This eclipse is going to be even more impressive, not only because we're in the path of it, but because look at that timing for it. Four minutes and 30 seconds will be the maximum time that you might be able to see it. Oh, well, that's all the way down towards the Texas border into Mexico. We'll dive into our own timing here a little bit more in Northwest Ohio. Again, the path of totality. It's all about where you live. If you're up into southeastern Michigan and extreme Northwest Ohio, there's parts of Fulton, Defiance, in Williams counties who unfortunately will miss out on this. The closer to the center of the path you get, the longer you will experience this event. Here in Toledo, we are right on the edge of this, which is going to lead to lower amounts of time to be under totality. The closer you are to this blue line, the longer that you'll be at close to four minutes. Let's look at some of the times here and look at the difference it makes the slower or the further south that you go. Toledo, just under two minutes in totality. That's where the sky will be completely blackened out. You travel just a little bit down the road. How about Bowling Green? Close to three minutes. And how about our cities that are going to be under totality for the longest? Upper Sandusky will be right up there along with uh, Norwalk and Tiffin. Look at that close to Four minutes of totality. That is one of the longest experiences of a total eclipse that you could ever hope for. Again, in most years, like the one in 2017, the most we ever saw was two minutes and 30 seconds, and that was all the way on the other side of the country. So watch as this zooms from southwest to northeast, and it's going to do so at a speed of about 260 miles an hour. Check this out from start to finish. From the western part of Ohio all the way into the northeastern part of Ohio, from start to finish in the entire state, it's only going to take 7 minutes and 26 seconds for this amazing uh, lunar event to occur across the state of Ohio. Let's talk about some more places that are going to see the eclipse because we're obviously not the only ones in northern Ohio. Indianapolis would be another city. How about Dallas and places that are going to see the longest totality? That would be south of the border on the western coast of Mexico where they may experience this for the better part of four and a half minutes. And this all wraps up off the east coast of the United States. This is certainly one event that you want to make sure you're not close to totality, but rather you are right inside of it to make sure you get to experience one of these life changing events. Reporting, I'm meteorologist Ryan Weekman.